So, um, I've, uh, I've decided to kill myself. I think it's important that someone understands why, but, so I'm making this video before I blow my own head off. The first, well, the first time I remember this happening was when I was nine. Johnny Weller and I were playing in his backyard. The sun was setting over his back fence. Warm orange and red rays were shining through to the bone white slats that kind of looked like a creamsicle against pearly white teeth. Johnny was the cowboy, and I myself was the dirty redskin stealing his horse. We ran around the swing set, uh, him laughing and me whooping, threatening to scalp him. It was a fun time, you know, just just, just a normal pretend time with kids. When he tripped, I, I ran to where he laid into the dirt, scooping up a handful of air and then pointing my finger at his nose, and I proclaimed, I got you now. Bang. Johnny's head exploded into a just tremendous blossom of crimson red blood, slate gray brain matter, and chips of skull that sparkled in the setting sun. I remember it just so damn vividly. My hands fell to my side and I stared open mouthed, unable to understand what in the hell just happened. Someone was screaming and at first I thought it must have been Johnny's mother, right? But that was until she tore open the back door and I realized I was the one screaming. Johnny's mother crumpled against her son's headless, helpless body, adding to her broken sobs and my horrified cries. <sighs> Johnny's funeral was next week. Closed casket, of course. I forgot the sparkling light shimmering across the cloud of Johnny's blood. I forgot Johnny's mother rag-dawing and my little body begging me to tell her what happened to her son. I forgot the sheriff, telling my mother that Johnny was hit by a falling bullet, one of 26 cases each year. I forgot my father. I forgot my father's quiet talks with my mother about how they never found a round that spattered Johnny's smile across the grass. I adjusted. I cope, and I I pushed it back to to the back of my mind, and I forgot. That was my mistake. I didn't forget the next time it happened, however. I never played Cowboys and Indians again, and in fact, I can't remember a single instance of any shooting game played by the little boys anywhere in my childhood. However, I do remember a little girl at the park pop pop popping her little nerf balls as she bounced around. She ran up to me brandishing the weapon and was shouting, HANDS UP! I smiled and I complied, dropping my sandwich in mock terror. I lift my hand to the sky and in petition for mercy. A true high homicidal maniac in the making, she executed me with a fury of a skedaddle of pop pop pops. I dutifully played dead, sprawling my body across the bench. She giggled and she proclaimed, your turn to shoot me. A sudden sensation of intense discomfort shoveled up my spine. I thought of the flowers, the gathering of the crimson roses, wet morning dew. She eyed me intently, apparently convinced that she might have to nerf me once more to provoke a response. I lifted my finger and weakly pointed at her and whispered, Bang. This time, I was the one that was screaming. Her mother cradled her baby, her dismembered limbs frantically clutching an arm and then a leg. I had pointed my finger at the little girl's belly button. The moment the word left my lips, she just popped like a water balloon filled with punch and soaking bits of crimson colored fruit. Johnny Weller's decapitated body filled my vision. The slow red sunset was sliding down the front of his stripped red shirt. I ran. I, I, I fucking ran. I, I just... I can't do this anymore. I got pissed at Laura yesterday, and I put my finger to her face to tell her off, but I, I didn't even say it. I couldn't even bring myself to stop. My own girlfriend, I her blew her brains off in the fucking kitchen. I can't do this anymore. All I have to do is put my finger against my temple and say it. At least. <laughs> at least I'll go out with a... <laughs> <laughs> At least I'll go out with a bang. <laughs> <laughs>